When I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died, my richest gain I count but loss and poor contempt on all my pride. Forbid it, Lord, that I should boast, save in the death of Christ my Lord. The vain things that now tempt me most, I sacrifice them to his blood. See from his head, his hands, his feet, the pain and love flow mingled down. Did ever such love and sorrow meet, or thorns compose so rich a crown? Were every realm of nature mine, my gift would still be far too small. Love so amazing, so divine, demands my soul, my life, my own. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. By the sign of Jesus' cross on our body, we begin the way of the cross he walked. May we, by this meditation on Jesus' passion, be configured more deeply to Jesus in his crucifixion, so that we may be configured to Jesus in his resurrection. By Jesus' cross, we are saved from death. By Jesus' cross, the power of sin is broken. By Jesus' cross, Satan is defeated. Glory be to Jesus Christ, who died to set us free and rose to give us life eternal. Jesus said to them, My soul is sorrowful even to death. Remain here and keep watch with me. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, open us to the power of your passion by keeping watch in this way of the cross. May we know the love you have for us and the victory you died to give us. Call us to the glory of the resurrection, for you are Lord forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. At the cross her station keeping stood the mournful mother weeping. Close to Jesus to the last. The first station. Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. With loud shouts, however, they persisted in calling for Jesus' crucifixion, and their voices prevailed. The verdict of Pilate was that their demand should be granted. So he released the man who had been in prison for rebellion and murder, for whom they asked, and he handed Jesus over to them to deal with as they wished. Consider how the crowd acted. They were driven not by justice, but by incitement. The emotions of the crowd took over, and they freed the guilty and condemned the innocent. Pilate stood by and allowed it to happen to keep peace. Have we acted out of emotion and not by reason? Do we just go along with the crowd, or do we choose to act in accord with Jesus' teaching? By Jesus' cross we are saved from death. By Jesus' cross the power of sin is broken. By Jesus' cross Satan is defeated. 
Glory be to Jesus Christ, who died to set us free and rose to give us life eternal. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, stir up within us the gift of courage so that we may live your teaching in season and out. Help us to live not impulsively, but in accord with your teaching, for you are Lord forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. Through her heart his sorrow sharing, all his bitter anguish bearing. Now at length the sword has passed. The second station, Jesus bears the burden of the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Then Pilate handed Jesus over to them to be crucified. So they took Jesus, and carrying the cross himself, he went out to what is called the place of the skull, in Hebrew, Golgotha. Consider Jesus bearing his cross. He is weakened by the long ordeal of the arrest, trial, and scourging. The cross is heavy and painful on his wounded back. In this cross is the weight of the sin of the world, the sin of every human being. On this cross he will break the power of sin. How easily do we sin? Do we consider what Jesus did to atone for our sins? What the cost of our redemption was? Will, he, we, will we bear the hardship of resisting temptation like Jesus is bearing the burden of the cross? By Jesus' cross, we are saved from death. By Jesus' cross, the power of sin is broken. By Jesus' cross, Satan is defeated. Glory be to Jesus Christ, who died to set us free and rose to give us life eternal. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you took up the burden of the cross to free us from sin. Help us by the power of the cross to resist temptation and live in the freedom you won for us. For you are Lord forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. Oh, how sad and sore distressed was that mother highly blessed of the soul begotten one. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. But the Lord said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for power is made perfect in weakness. I would rather boast most gladly of my weaknesses, in order that the power of Christ may dwell with me. Therefore I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecution, and constraints for the sake of Christ, for when I am weak, then I am strong. Consider Jesus in his weakness. The worldly strong are cruel to him in all manner of ways, yet he will win the ultimate victory confounding the worldly. Do we fear our own weakness and allow the worldly strong to force us to act in a way that denies Christ? Will we join Christ in his weakness so that he may be strong in us. By, By Jesus' cross, cross, we are saved from death. By Jesus' cross, cross, the power of sin is broken. By Jesus' cross, cross, Satan is defeated. Glory be to Jesus Christ, who died to set us free and rose to give us life eternal. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, in the weakness of your body, the weight of the cross bore you down, but you triumphed and broke the power of this world of sin. Strengthen us in our baptism, becoming new in your grace, for you are Lord forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. 
Christ above in torment hangs, she beneath beholds the pangs of her dying glorious Son. The fourth station, Jesus meets his sorrowful mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his home. Consider the pain our Blessed Mother felt at the cross. Her mother's heart was breaking for what her son was suffering. Jesus gave her to be our mother too. She wants us to be close to her son. Let us not break her heart by walking away from her son in sin. Rather, by walking this way of the cross, may we give her joy by being more at one with her son in his crucifixion and resurrection. By Jesus' cross, we are saved from death. By Jesus' cross, the power of sin is broken. By Jesus' cross, Satan is defeated. Glory be to Jesus Christ, who died to set us free and rose to give us life eternal. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, help us to be like your mother Mary, by staying close to you even at the most difficult times and relying on her prayers for help and comfort. For you are Lord forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. Is there one who would not weep, whelmed in misery so deep? Christ, dear Mother, to behold. The fifth station, Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. As they led Jesus away, they took hold of a certain Simon, a Cyrenian, who was coming in from the country, and after laying the cross on him, they made him carry it behind Jesus. Consider Simon, who by chance followed Jesus in the way of the cross. Simon and his family became true disciples by this chance meeting. We are not accidental disciples. We are chosen by the Father and called by him to make Jesus the center of our lives, to be his true disciple, we must deny ourselves, take up our cross daily, and follow him. By Jesus' cross, we are saved from death. By Jesus' cross, the power of sin is broken. By Jesus' cross, Satan is defeated. Glory be to Jesus Christ, who died to set us free and rose to give us life eternal. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you are the center of our lives. We want to make all we do a following of you in the way of salvation. By your Holy Spirit, teach us and guide us as we bear our own cross. For you are Lord forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. Can the human heart refrain? from partaking in her pain, in that mother's pain untold. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Do to others as you would have them do to you. For if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? 
even sinners do the same. Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Consider the love and mercy Veronica showed. The crowd jeered at Jesus and threw all manner of garbage at him. Veronica moved at the sight, gave him what comfort she could. How do we respond to those who are poor, outcast, suffering, even disgusting looking and smelling? Do we harden our hearts? Do we even notice them? How can we help them and affirm their dignity as human beings? Do we love as Jesus loved? By Jesus' cross, we are saved from death. By Jesus' cross, the power of sin is broken. By Jesus' cross, Satan is defeated. Glory be to Jesus Christ, who died to set us free and rose to give us life eternal. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you know what it is to be robbed of your human dignity and what little kindness it takes to affirm it. Help us to see the need for kindness and help us to live it, for you are Lord forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. Bruised, derided, cursed, defiled, she beheld her tender child, all with bloody scourges rent. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. While keeping your eyes fixed on Jesus, the leader and perfecter of faith, consider how he endured such opposition from sinners in order that you may not grow weary and lose heart. In your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding blood. So strengthen your drooping hands and your weak knees. Consider how much more difficult it is for Jesus to continue. He is nearing the end of his strength. Pain and exhaustion, invective and battering are taking their toll. What does it take for us to give up? Physical distress? Mental distress? Isolation? What will push us into sin? How much effort do we put into resisting temptation? Are we even open to the grace God would give us to help us? By Jesus' cross, we are saved from death. By Jesus' cross, the power of sin is broken. By Jesus' cross, Satan is defeated. Glory be to Jesus Christ, who died to set us free and rose to give us life eternal. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you struggled to finish the whole of your passion and fulfillment of the Father's will. Help us to resist all temptation with your grace and all our might, for you are Lord forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. For the sins of his own nation saw him hang in desolation till his spirit forth he sent. The eighth station, Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Many women mourned and lamented him. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep instead for yourselves and for your children. Indeed, the days are coming when people will say, Blessed are the barren, the wombs that never bore. For if these things are done when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? Consider the women of Jerusalem. They understood what Jesus was suffering and what he would suffer. They did not know what would happen 37 years later when the Romans would destroy Jerusalem and the temple. Their faith would be terribly tested then. 
When our faith is tested by the trials of our life, do we look to Jesus' suffering to strengthen, encourage, and heal us? By Jesus' cross, we are saved from death. By Jesus' cross, the power of sin is broken. By Jesus' cross, Satan is defeated. Glory be to Jesus Christ, who died to set us free and rose to give us life eternal. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, be with us when the trials of life hide your presence from us and awaken our faith to find consolation in you. For you are Lord forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. O thou mother font of love, teach my spirit from above. Make my heart with thine accord. The ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Have among yourselves the same attitude that is also yours in Christ Jesus, who though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he humbled himself, becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name. Consider Jesus, the second person of the Blessed Trinity. He emptied himself to live as one of us and save us by his suffering and death. How do we live humility? Do we insist on our own prerogatives? Do we love and pray for our persecutors? Do we try to teach the ways of Christ or insist on our own way? How do we imitate Jesus? By Jesus' cross, we are saved from death. By Jesus' cross, the power of sin is broken. By Jesus' cross, Satan is defeated. Glory be to Jesus Christ, who died to set us free and rose to give us life eternal. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you emptied yourself, becoming one of us to save us by your passion and resurrection. Help us to empty ourselves so we may be filled with you, for you are Lord forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. Make me feel as thou hast felt. Make my soul to glow and melt. With the love of Christ, my Lord. The tenth station. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. When the soldiers had crucified Jesus, they took his clothes and divided them into four shares a share for each soldier. They also took his tunic, but the tunic was seamless, woven in one piece from the top down. So they said to one another, let's not tear it, but cast lots for it, to see whose it will be, in order that the passage of scripture might be fulfilled. They divided my garments amongst them, and for my vesture they cast lots. Consider how vulnerable Jesus is. With the taking of his clothes, a measure of human dignity is stripped away from Jesus. But human might has no power over him. Let us rely on Jesus when we seem weakest in the face of the world. By, By Jesus' cross, we are saved from death. By Jesus' cross, the power of sin is broken. By Jesus' cross, Satan is defeated. Glory be to Jesus Christ, who died to set us free and rose to give us life eternal. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, even in the midst of this degradation, you held fast to the Father's will. 
Help us to live the Father's will in all the challenges of our life. For you are Lord forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. Holy Mother, pierce me through. In my heart each wound renew. Of my Savior crucified. The eleventh station, Jesus is crucified. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When they came to the place called the Skull, they crucified him and the criminals there, one on his right, the other on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. Consider the pain Jesus experienced the nails driven into his hands pierced major nerves. The nails in his feet pierced no major nerves, but were also very painful. The way he hung on the cross made breathing difficult, so he would push up on the nail in his feet to breathe easier, sliding up on his wounded back. Yet even through his pain, his thoughts were on forgiving his tormentors, ultimately on atoning for our sins. Do we focus on our wounds or on praying for our persecutors? Do we forgive those who hurt us? Do we hold grudges? By Jesus' cross, we are saved from death. By Jesus' cross, the power of sin is broken. By Jesus' cross, Satan is defeated. Glory be to Jesus Christ, who died to set us free and rose to give us life eternal. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you paid the price of our salvation in your own body. Help us to join our suffering with yours for the salvation of the world. For you are Lord forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. Let me share with thee his pain who for all my sins was slain, who for me in torment died. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Aware that everything was now finished, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled, Jesus said, I thirst. There was a vessel filled with common wine, so they put a soaked sponge in the wine on a spring of hyssop and put it up to his mouth. When Jesus had taken the wine, he said, It is finished. And bowing his head, he handed over the spirit. Let us pause now in profound awe. Consider Jesus' thirst for our salvation in his love for us. His death finally broke the power of sin, broke the power of Satan. By dying, he conquered death. Do we thirst for Jesus? Do we accept the victory of the cross or embrace the chains of sin and death? How do we love Jesus? By Jesus' cross, we are saved from death. By Jesus' cross, the power of sin is broken. By Jesus' cross, Satan is defeated. Glory be to Jesus Christ, who died to set us free and rose to give us life eternal. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, your divinity gave your humanity infinite worth. 
Your humanity gave your divinity the ability to die, so you are the only person who could pay the price of our salvation. Help us to live always as your true disciples in the way of salvation, for you are Lord forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. Let me mingle tears with thee, mourning him who mourned for me. All the days that I may live. The thirteenth station. Jesus is taken off the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Joseph of Arimathea, who was himself awaiting the kingdom of God, came and courageously went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Pilate was amazed that he was already dead. He summoned the centurion and asked him if Jesus had already died. And when he learned of it from the centurion, he gave the body to Joseph. Consider Joseph, a member of the Sanhedrin. He did not condone the acts that condemned Jesus. He held a privileged position. He had status. He risked all of this by showing mercy to Jesus. Have we risked anything for Jesus, or do we play it safe? Do we stand up for Jesus' teaching, or do what is comfortable and go with the crowd? How do we show love and mercy? By, By Jesus' cross, cross we are saved from death. death. By, By Jesus' cross, cross, the power of sin is broken. By, By Jesus' cross, Satan is defeated. Glory be to Jesus Christ, who died to set us free and rose to give us life eternal. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, help us to follow you wholeheartedly, no matter the cost to us. You have taught us how to live in accord with the Father's merciful will. Help us to imitate you in this, for you are Lord forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. By the cross with thee to stay, there with thee to weep and pray. All I ask of thee to give. The fourteenth station. Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Joseph and Nicodemus, the one who had first come to him at night, took the body of Jesus and bound it with burial cloths, along with spices, according to the Jewish burial custom. Now in the place where he had been crucified, there was a garden, and in the garden a new tomb, in which no one had yet been buried. So they laid Jesus there, because of the Jewish preparation day, for the tomb was close by. Consider the grave. On the third day, Jesus made it a place of hope. Do we find ourselves saying, every day above ground is a good one? Our own grave is now a place of waiting for the great day of resurrection. Do we look forward to our life with Jesus in glory or focus on our life here? By, By Jesus' cross, cross, we are saved from death. By, By Jesus' cross, cross, the power of sin is broken. By Jesus' cross, Satan is defeated. Glory be to Jesus Christ, who died to set us free and rose to give us life eternal. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you have made holy the graves of the faithful by your stay in the tomb. Help us to be hopeful in the face of death, for you are Lord forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. Virgin of all virgins best, listen to my fond request. Let me share thy grief divine. 
divine. The resurrection. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because, because by your cross and resurrection you redeemed us. After the Sabbath, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb, and behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven, approached, rolled back the stone, and sat upon it. Then the angel said to the women in reply, Do not be afraid. I know that you are seeking Jesus, the crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Consider Jesus, the first fruits of the resurrection. His rising means that we have our own resurrection awaiting us. This is our natural end as disciples of Jesus. We are to be saints in glory with Jesus. This is our goal, our encouragement to live as his faithful disciples. Do we live as if there truly is a personal resurrection? Do we live in faith-filled hope? By Jesus' cross, we are saved from death. By Jesus' cross, the power of sin is broken. By Jesus' cross, Satan is defeated. Glory be to Jesus Christ who died to set us free and rose to give us life eternal. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, by rising, you showed your love for us by making it possible to live with you forever. Help us to live so as to attain eternal life, for you are Lord forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus, risen, have mercy on us. Life forever, life with Thee, life eternally in glory, is our hope, O Victor King. Praised be Jesus Christ, now and forever. Are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death. We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that, just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. For if we have grown into union with him through a death like his, we shall also be united with him in the resurrection. We are already baptized into Christ, dying and rising. May this way of the cross help complete our configuring to Christ. By Jesus' cross, we are saved from death. By Jesus' cross, the power of sin is broken. By Jesus' cross, Satan is defeated. Glory be to Jesus Christ, who died to set us free and rose to give us life eternal. Walk we now in Christ Jesus, true disciples of Lord Jesus, following his way of life. Let us pray for the intentions of the Holy Father by praying in the words Jesus our Redeemer taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Almighty Father, in Jesus Christ your Son, you have saved us and made us your children, co-heirs with Christ. Grant that we who have devoutly participated in these stations of the cross realize the fullness of what they promise in the grace for living our daily lives and in the resurrection of the just. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. O oh, sacred head surrounded by crown of piercing thorn, O oh, bleeding head so wounded, reviled and put to scorn, the power of death comes for 